I love breathwork revolution because I see that's happening as well. And that's why Breath Hub exists because, you know, to be people's ally in their hands. The quality of our lives depends on the quality of our breathing. It's like every other thing. It's like talking, eating, sleeping, reading, working, every other thing we do in, you know, certain times during the day. But if you're alive, the only thing you're always doing, like every moment of your life, you are going to be breathing. We have billions of breathing exercises. There is an exercise for everyone, for sure. The most important aspect is to follow your feelings. And as you know, there is that sentence that I, it was very inspiring for me, is that we have all the rivers goes to the same ocean. So I think it's a few words, it's the same thing for us and for the world of breathwork. I was reading a paper yesterday and I had to stop just one one moment, one just one minute. And more we are going forward and more I'm studying. It's been more than 10 years now that I'm studying all the world of breathing. And more we are going forward, more I'm feeling ignorant. Because it's a very complex world that will attach to any other spheres. And this is why now we are talking about the breathwork revolution. Because we are in a new era. The previous one was the mindfulness one that had a peak around the 2014. But still nowadays, we're talking about breath work. And mo both of them, both of those fields are combining and combining with many others. So the world of breath work, the breath work or the specific breath work or breath work instructor, breathing coach in the world of sports and also in the world of corporates, it happened for me many times, especially for sleeping. Just have a good sleep, try to have a big work after one day where you didn't sleep for two hours, how will you feel really bad? So this is why doing or learn how to do some kind of breathing exercise for your sleep quality is really important. And working with patients, and we'll conclude with that, working with patients, I can see that some people are, I see a lot of people with terrible condition in psychiatry, it happened to me many times. And the way how you can just apply those breathing exercises to yourself, without removing the drug prescription, which is important for certain people, you can see that how, it, I still remember the sentence from one of my patients who told me, my wife, he was a guy, he told me, my wife told me that I was not focused on my problem anymore thanks to those breathing exits. I changed in one month, in one month. So this is why those breathing exercises will give you the responsibility also of your health and to feel self-efficient. And this is one of the main key points in my, in my opinion. I don't know what you think about that. Yeah, I, I love breathwork revolution because I see that's happening as well. And that's why Breath Hub exists because, you know, to be people's ally in their hands, like the breath coach in their hands, because not many people have the time, uh, not many people have the money to, you know, work with a private coach. Maybe a professional athlete would, but not everybody would. We uh, created Breath Hub with that mission so that people can have their breath coach in their hands and someone to guide them into different breathing sessions when they have anxiety, panic attack, or, you know, all kinds of symptoms. I think we're moving, exactly, I think we're moving with, with science and with scientific research. I yeah. think we're moving in a new era where we see that breathing is the most important thing in our lives. And I, I mean, I've been teaching breath work and I've been involved in breathing and, you know, breathing sciences faculty, researching, studying on breathing for like over 20 years now. And for me as an expert, I don't even understand how people can't see the importance of just daily five minutes of 10 minutes of breathing awareness, because the quality of our lives depends on the quality of our breathing. It's like every other thing. It's like talking, eating, sleeping, reading, working, every other thing we do in, you know, certain times during the day. But if you're alive, the only thing you're always doing, like every moment of your life, you are going to be breathing. And that's the main thing in your hand. It's like, why don't you improve it? It's like, why don't you work on it? Why don't you? I mean, it's like, it's so simple. We take our first breath, we come to life, we give our last. And in the middle, when you look at the whole life experience on a very basic level, it's just the number of the you know inhales and exhales, the total number of inhales and exhales. That's life, as simple as it gets. So the better you breathe, the better you live. It's so obvious, even on the 
very basic level. And when you do scientific research, like you said, you say you, we see that uh, breathing, because we are breathing throughout the whole day, it's like our breathing behaviors reflect on our lives in you know every level. It's like if you have a breathing problem, it affects your you know uh, career, it affects your business, it affects your you know athletic performance, it affects your thoughts, it, aff it affects your organs, you know tissues, cells don't regenerate, and all that. And I think more and more people started seeing the importance. And it's not just it's not just going to a, I mean, I, in my opinion, as an expert who have been doing research for a long time, I think breathwork is not just about, because that's what's happening around the world, what I see, because with, you know, NR of, or NR on health, you know, deep breathing sessions, like breathwork sessions, like Wim Hof, transformational breathing, rebirthing, holotropic breathing, you know, especially the young generation, because they love the experience, they are looking at breathwork as, you know, the same experience like psychedelics, like, let's go to a breathwork session and, you know, experience yes. stuff. But actually, breathwork is more than that. It's like, I want to emphasize the importance of, you know, using breath every day, and just connecting with your breathing, like building that breath awareness, just five to 10 minutes every day, you know, when you wake up, checking your breath, like you said, before you go to bed, just doing a breathing exercise, you know, calming down your breath, and then maybe you need to pump up the breath, you need energy, like learning to manage breath is so much more important than the whole experience of an hour of breath work session. So uh, yeah, I would li like to emphasize on the importance of that, like connecting with our breath, managing our breath. It's kind of like being a friend with our breath, understanding when things go wrong, like you said, because we're changing our breathing pattern, you know, um, during certain emotions and when we don't want to feel and we, when we don't want to, you know, psychologically, when we want to alter our psychology or change or man manipulate our psychology. Uh, just noticing that, like how we are breathing when we are anxious, when we are in panic, when we are in fear, building that awareness, I think is much more important for anyone who wants to live a healthy, well, and a successful life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the main point that uh, you, you've raised is the one that uh, people, some young, young people will try to do some breath work at the beginning in order to get some weird sensation to get high. As Wim Hof says, to get high on your own supply, or uh, they will come to you at the beginning for uh, sport performance because one of the main problem in sport performance is the breath. For example, while doing tennis or while doing sport, I'm a fighter. Um, the main thing when you are gassing out, the main thing that you're gonna do is to slow down because you tell to yourself, if I continue like this, I will gas out soon enough, and I don't want this. But then, while practicing, people say, "Oh." snap i see that i can I have distance with my thoughts after two weeks for example or oh snap it's different i'm not agitated anymore my way how i react and i deal and copy with things is totally different right now so at the beginning you start as everyone i would like to say to get sensations you are a sensation seeker which is a psychopathology also in the world of psychology or you want to improve your sport performance, after a while you see you're undiscovering things progressively and things that are yours and are made to you because they are yours. And it means that you have to have a look over there. So I usually I don't go in the world of spirituality because I want to give, I'm a scientist. I take a look about it because it is really important because there is a big culture around it and we have to be aware as scientists that it exists. But on the other side, as a clinician, when people are talking about such topics, I'm aware of them and I want to protect their thoughts and their belief because it is really important for the percourse of the therapy itself. Okay. So yes, this is the magic of the things you get, you go there and you want to try it for something, but in the end you discover something else that is more deep and only for you. I don't know if it makes sense. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, I mean, the breath is uh, how I see breath is it, it gives us the, the power to govern ourselves and it does it by you know you you start becoming the observer uh, you start you know being more balanced your chemistry changes 
you know, your physiology changes. Yeah, it, it's amazing. And um, I'm going to ask you one last thing because you probably oh. have been, you know, interested in meditation and mindfulness as well. And I see also a big difference in, you know, between the meditation practice and breath work. I think that's why corporates are adopting breath work easier than meditation because it's not it's still not easy for many people to sit down and meditate but it is very easy for people to just do a breath work session for three minutes five minutes or breath work practice for 10 minutes a day it doesn't need focus it doesn't need a certain place you can do it anywhere anytime it's just an exercise it's like a you know sports exercise it's much more easier it's much more simpler and it's much more effective because it changes the physiology it changes the chemistry it changes everything especially on the physiological level instantly in a matter of minutes like you said coherent breathing how it balances the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system and how it balances people because i've been you know trying that especially when i have meetings with people who are new to breath work and if they are like okay what what does breath work do i, I just you know lead them into one minute or two minutes of balancing the inhale and exhale to coherent breathing. And they're like, wow, amazing. Like amazing how balanced I feel now. Amazing how more focused I feel in a minute, yeah. in two minutes. Wow. And I'm like, because your physiology changed, you know, because your chemistry changed, because the sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system, they're aligned. And people uh, can spend hours and days and months to get there if they're only practicing meditation or just trying to practice mindful mindfulness methods only yeah what do you have so, to, uh, you know anything to say oh, about that i have a good uh, i have a good example it is one of my um, it was one trader okay uh, when someone comes to meet me for uh, having a breath work session or to learn something or whatsoever um everyone comes to you with a certain personality so i had that trader and a very a very exuberant trader you know very agitated very uh very exuberant with a very behavior a very strong behavior so those people for example if you ask to such kind of people to just sit down meditate and stay silent they will go crazy and it's normal because their personality and their behavior is not made for being sad and doing those breathing exercises so what do you if to, to do a meditation so what do you have to do you have to use the inertia of those kind of personality of those kind of behavior and propose a breathing exercise that is close to their way of behaving so in such case you give a strong hyperventilating exercise that has to be judged that has to be limited in certain time of length in order to give them a sensation of relaxing right after the word because if you ask them to stay silent it's like to ask you to, telling to someone please be calm be calm you will be more agitated it doesn't work it doesn't work so what you have to do you give them some kind of strong hyperventilating exercise a whim of life for example or 30 breathing exercises and followed by an exhale and you ask them how do they feel and I remember the first time I asked him to sit down and to do the mindfulness practice. And he told me, I didn't come here to do those kind of woo-woo crap. You know that? I said, okay, no problem. No problem. I was laughing with him because it, I knew him. I knew the, the personage, the character in front of me. And he told him, let's do this. And we tried some whim of method breathing like, and it was totally different. I said, wow, that's different. So what did I learn from that? doing some breathing exercises some people are close to their body others are not closed at all to their blood to their body they don't feel their body this is why many people can use that can smoke or drink alcohol or, or eat a lot like binge eating to feel their body to feel sensations so give them giving them an, another way of feeling their body using and manipulating the biochemistry making it more alkaline for example is in another way to release also opiates from their brain in order to feel calm and relaxed in such case. And you give them another experience and they will want to retry it and to, to renew it more now and then. And after a while, they will start to have the same benefits of meditation, for example, because they are already connected to those sensations. 
and they will want to say, okay, if I'm still, if I'm remaining still for a certain time, maybe I will feel it more, even more. And they start to discover themselves in another aspect, in another way of behaving, in another way to do experience about themselves. They didn't use the main gate about meditation, but they will just go around it through hyperventilation and then proceed and go forward with this one. So we have billions of breathing exercises. There is an exercise for everyone, for sure. The most important aspect is to follow your feelings. And as you know, there is that sentence that I, it was very inspiring for me, is that we have all the rivers goes to the same ocean. So I think it's a few words, it's the same thing for us and for the world of breathwork.